welcome everyone we are going to discuss a important clinical lesion common clinical lesion and uh, that is also high topic that is u thyroid 6 syndrome so let's quickly learn u thyroid 6 syndrome u thyroid 6 syndrome is a kind of a thyroid hormone altercation thyroid hormone uh, impaired synthesis during non thyroid illness so before going further let's learn re regarding the thyroid hormone synthesis and a bit regarding the thyroid hormone action so t4 is the predominant hormone that gets inside the cell and is converted into t3 through d2 and another uh, form of t3 that is reverse t3 is also generated by the action of another form of diiodinase that is d3 so d2 action leads to t4 uh, t3 generation and uh, d3 generation d3 action leads to reverse t3 action reverse t3 formation so t3 and reverse t3 are generated and t3 is the metabolic active hormone t3 now t3 uh, comes inside the cell and uh, t3 tra translocates inside the cell and through transcription and translation synthesizes protein and causes the effect of thyroxine or effect of thyroid hormone which are increased cell metabolism increase uh, facilitate normal growth normal mental development increase the local effect of catecholamine it increases the sensitivity of catecholamine so these are some of the effects of thyroid hormones and this is regarding the thyroid hormone synthesis now let's go to the u thyroid 6 syndrome uh, general features there is abnormal uh, hormone synthesis in non thyroid illness so there is no endogenous thyroid disease but uh, again uh, the thyroid hormone function the thyroid hormone synthesis thyroid uh, functions are impaired because of non thyroid illness the causes could be the common causes could be acute or chronic illness pneumonia starvation septic shock various type of metastatic and uh, and uh, localized cancers hiv inflammatory bowel disease various autoimmune disease even some psychological disease can also cause this form of u thyroid 6 syndrome so why does how does it cause the important uh, Thing that is behind the important mediator is cytokines the various inflammatory cytokines that are elaborated uh, during uh, inflammatory processes or inflammatory diseases these cytokines causes various derangement now how the cytokines causes various derangement now let's learn that the cytokines act on the diiodinase it acts on the d3 and causes increased activity of d3 so generation of rt3 is increased rt3 is increased whereas it act, it inhibits the activity of d2 leading to decrease t3 the most metabolic uh, hormone active hormone the desirous hormone that acts on the peripheral tissue the t3 is decreased so lab finding so lab finding will be decreased total serum t3 that will be there in all the cases some of the cases show normal and some of the cases may show mild uh, total decrease uh, t4 then total uh, decrease t4 may be due to reduced uh, plasma uh, protein binding to thyroid hormones plasma protein may also get affected during inflammatory process so some of the cases may show decreased total t4 free t4 uh, may be elevated to normal in uh, various cases reverse t3 is invariably elevated and it is one of the important diagnostic feature normal serum t uh, tsh is generally it is compensated and it is generally normal in most of the cases now how will you treat it so we do not need to over treat it we need to differentiate it from endogenous hypothyroidism the treatment of underlying cause is important along with that the hypothyroidism the alteration in thyroid hormone synthesis that uh, that gets cured trh administration thyroid releasing hormone administration that may stimulate the pituitary thyroid axis and cause normalization of thyroid function the thyroid hormone level may come to normal parenteral nutrition the early parenteral nutrition minimizes the hormonal alteration and that helps in uh, uh, in bringing down the deranged hormones to normal level uh, very soon so parenteral nutrition may be effective in some of the cases so the, this is all about the u thyroid 6 syndrome so what we learned important uh, fact is that in this condition the cytokines in various inflammatory condition that uh, that causes the derangement of uh, diiodinase and causes increase uh, and and it causes a decrease t3 generation the active form and it causes normal to in, increase t4 level 
and this is due to the action of this is due to the action of deiodinase so due to the various action of deiodinase reverse t reverse t3 is uniformly increased whereas the t3 the metabolic active hormone that is decreased so that's all about uh, the u thyroid sick syndrome that you ought to know see you all in the next video very soon and please don't uh, forget uh, to share your valuable feedback share like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next video very soon thank you